I'm really glad you did not go in right here. We have a lot of damage, but that comes in the form of burst, whereas Darius has sustained damage through his bleed, so we shouldn't look to trade into level 3 when we get our shield. Also, I think we should be starting Control Ward in almost every game. They are just so strong. Yes, they are vulnerable, but the fact that they last all game means we just have to be more tactical about their placement. Since we did start yellow, I really like this spot because it lets us know where the jungler is and if he does path down to Tribrush, we can expect a gank at level 2. Darius walking forward here tells us two things. One, that he doesn't mind walking forward and trading back so he's reckless and dangerous. Two, that he doesn't understand minion damage. By him walking forward into your caster minions, he ate so much extra damage that was just unnecessary. I'm glad that you went shield here for your second ability because it negates the bleed effect from Darius and this is a great job spotting him using his first ability and trading in on that. This is what I meant when I said he's reckless and dangerous because if he understood what he did he loses because he's tanking all of your minions. Yes he almost kills us but we clutch it out and set him far behind. This is why wave management is important to learn. This is wrong, we should have either shoved this wave out to tower as fast as possible and recalled, or we should have recalled after we killed him. Doing this can allow him to freeze the lane and then we lose all priority that we had. Luckily for us, this Darius is a complete idiot and shoves the wave right into us. Since we know that he doesn't know what he's doing, we should start playing forward because I'm sure after that last trade he is tilted. Look at Darius's body language, he is scared to walk past this line, so we need to use that to our advantage by keeping the wave on our side of the river. How should I proceed? This is great for us, if we freeze right here, he will lose so much gold and be even more tilted in this matchup. By you pushing right now, you put these minions back on his side of the map where he is comfortable. You need to keep him uncomfortable by making him overextend to get farm, not handing it to him. This was a waste of a roam, we're not going to catch a level 5 echo and we're going to miss all of these minions that Darius is shoving right back into our turret. Honestly, I don't think this kill was worth it. I think Ari made a dumb decision and you fixed that dumb decision by trying to save her. You actually did harm to this player because they will reinforce the idea that their play was a good play because we traded one for one when she should not have been there in the first place. This is a good call, or we could have been cheeky and went behind the tower and proxied the next way from Darius so you make him choose does he attack you or go after the minions that are dying to his turret. It's risky because we don't know where the jungler is, but it could be worth the investment. Do not auto attack these minions, let the tower do their job, this way you have time for the next wave of minions to crash on your side of the map allowing you to set up a freeze. Allies 
right now you need a ping that Darius is missing because we don't know where he is. I like this Herald take right here, but we need a control ward because we don't know if we're on vision or not. There he is. Good job on letting your team know that he's coming down. Think about your positioning and health. You're out of the fight. Do not go back in. Don't shove the wave here, he's still not going to fight you. By you giving him that last wave, you give him the experience advantage and we need to not give the enemy team any advantage over us whatsoever. This is where we should have backed off. We cleared the wave so Harold will get the charge onto the turret and we could reset and purchase our items. This is okay, but I think you need to be in top lane pushing and drawing pressure to you. Right now the wave is in the middle of the river, which means Darius can't farm without the risk of being ganked, so he's free to be elsewhere on the map. If you want to rotate, you have to get lane priority first. Yes, our top lane turret was low, but if we had pushed this wave before roaming, Echo doesn't get this turret for free. He would have to push two to three waves, which takes time, and time is a valuable resource in Wild Rift. You now have to answer these sideways, which takes you out of position to be able to contest a fight around Dragon. Why are you here? Did you run all the way down just to push mid lane? There is a team fight going on and we need to be there to assist. Right here you need to work on your target selection and tunnel vision. You chose to chase a dead Leona over killing a primary carry. This backfires and Echo is able to re-engage onto your team. I think the correct play is you kill Echo, you get to clean up the team fight, you rush mid lane tower then recall. You need to use control wards. There is a reason that in League PC, when you go back to base, everyone purchases one. They are too strong not to be using to clear or maintain vision. Again, we tunnel vision. Darius is clearly going to flash the wall. That's the only reason he would run into the pit to try to escape three people. Stop the chase, turn the fight on to Kha'Zix and Vayne who are caught out of position. They did not have the chance to escape.
Why are we here? Is there somewhere else we should be? The answer is side lane. It's always side lane. Echo bullies Zin Zhao and I'm 90% certain he gets this tower for free. Riven is a split push champion. She needs to be in a side lane drawing pressure to her. If you're the one taking the pressure to the enemy, that's great for them because they don't have to waste time chasing you. If I'm Echo right now, I am not dropping this pressure. I am taking this tower. You should be there matching his push. Now that you're here, do not stop pushing these waves until they crash into the tower or until you see two or more coming to answer your split push. They cannot chase you, you are too fast. You have two choices, you either stay on this tower or you make it across map in 20 seconds for the dragon. You're already here and you need the pressure, especially in this lane since Echo took your T2 turret. Who is this? Who is in the circle? It's Echo, the primary carry with no HP. Why are we chasing a half health tank into the enemy jungle with no vision? Turn onto the carry, kill him, and maybe you turn this fight around. I know you're probably thinking right now he has Chrono Break, but you can't Chrono Break when you're stunned, and you and I both know Riven has enough burst damage to kill a full AP Squishy before he has a chance to pop his ultimate. Had you stayed in top lane and pushed this entire time and just ignored this dragon fight completely, you get the inhibitor turret for free. Back on the map, what do we do? Vision on Baron. That's it, just Vision on Baron. Never mind, no one in this game has any sense of vision, so they take the Baron for free. Don't chase this, don't fight this, bad idea, side lane control. Good, I think this recall right here is the correct call. When you come back, side lane duty again. You have to answer Kha'Zix, he's got Baron buff and he's pushing into your towers. Man, you are stuck between a rock and a hard place. If you don't answer this, the enemy team ends the game. If you don't stay and stop Kha'Zix, you lose the inhibitor tower, and then you lose the game. I don't envy your decision. Personally, I'm staying and stopping Kha'Zix. I think you understand your micro play on this champion very well, like when you win into trade on Darius. What you need to work on is your decision making and your macro play. When you're ahead, you don't push the wave into the enemy tower and allow them to free farm. You don't select the tankiest member of the team during a team fight. You did that twice and it worked horribly both times. I want you to start looking at your games more often. When you win a good game, watch it and see what you did right. When you get shit on, watch it and see what you did wrong. Hopefully I didn't come across as too aggressive or mean and hopefully this helps. I really want to see you succeed.